All right, we're here with Jack Roush. One one championship nationwide. Missed the Sprint Cup by that much. How would you qualify 2011 for Roush Fenway Racing? Well, Roush Fenway's had a great year. You know, in truth of fact, we had uh, we were in, in contention for five championships. Uh, uh, two races ago, we won the Manufacturers Championship for Ford and Nationwide. Uh, Ricky Stenhouse won the Drivers Championship in Nationwide, and Carl Edwards won for Roush Fenway. The uh, the uh, owners championship uh, for the first time uh, and since uh, Greg Biffle won back years ago. So, um, first with the nationwide with Ricky, um, when you go, for the, you know, it's obviously the same, basically the same infrastructure, the same team. How much effort does Roush Fenway Racing put into the nationwide series as they do their Sprint Cup teams? Well, you know, prior to 2011, we had a totally different. Uh, uh, location for the nationwide teams. They were located in Mooresville, which North Carolina, which was about 25 minutes away by car from the, the campus for the for the Cup program in Concord. And uh, this year we put them together. We were able to concentrate uh, the full faith and trust of the uh, of the Cups engineering program uh, on the nationwide uh, nationwide program. We're able to, to have Robbie Reiser and Chip Bowen, our two managers, one for engineering, one for general managership. We're able to bring those to bear, and uh, we got all of our manufacturing consolidated. We had it, some of our manufacturing for the cars uh, still in in Mooresville, and it was uh, it was a satellite operation of what we had going on in Concord so we are able to bring uh, more resources to the nationwide program for 2012 and of course the general competitiveness of the cars improved along with the uh, inclusion of the new Ford FR9 engine which made a big difference. Uh, sticking with nationwide uh, Ricky's won your championship are you going to keep him in the nationwide series or are you going to be moving him up to the Sprint Cup? Well that's TBD you know we've got uh, discussions ongoing with several sponsors now and depending on what their activation interests are and what their venues are that uh, our greatest concern concern as we get to the table to, to make final uh, agreements uh, it'll become clear but I would uh, I would certainly like to have a Ricky in, uh, in one of our cup cars one of our Ford cup cars uh, for a full season this year but I'm not sure that's going to happen I have heard Ricky say that he'd be very happy to spend another year in Nationwide which if the sponsorship lines up uh, correctly for it that would be good with me as well um, well got to talk about the Spring Cup with Carl Edwards you, know, you haven't had much time, but I'm sure you might have gotten a few hours of sleep. Looking back, have you had a chance to look back and go, what you might have done different to get that championship? Well, you know, Tony is going to make a great champion. He uh, won five races of the ten. Uh, the only races he won all year was in the chase. And uh, that's an incredible run, an incredible turn of... Uh, of fate for him and in the, in, the, in the way his team functioned and the way his, uh, his, he was able to be successful on the racetrack. If you look particularly at the way the race unfolded, well the first thing we do is win some races because the, the points uh, at the end of uh, Homestead were tied and the, the determination was uh, of the of the tiebreaker was actually the, the fact that Tony had won all those races. But if, if, if Carl had won a, a, a race in the chase either at Homestead or before, he would have had a, a benefit of, of additional points which would have made the difference and then the total number of races won in the chase wouldn't have been a factor. But uh, as far as the way the race itself unfolded, Bob Osborne made uh, great calls. Uh, Tony uh, and his crew chief took a chance of running the car out of gas and did and still wound up short of, the, of, of going as far as they would needed to to finish the race uh, on the gas they had in the tank. They got the rain, they got the cautions, they had four tires and Bob Osborne was put in a situation that didn't have a, a satisfactory outlook with regard to either giving up track position for four tires and uh, or, or putting two tires on and maintaining a track position which which was not likely to, to have enough speed left in the car to be able to win the race and that's the way it worked out. Uh, one last question, uh, Roush Fenway Racing, of course you're Ford, how close do you work with the factory? How much does Ford help you guys and how much do you help Ford? Well, we've had a great partnership with Ford, uh, not only with uh, NASCAR racing uh, since 1988, but with the engineering involvement that I've had with my engineering company since '76. We've uh, we've had a great partnership. We've uh, done a lot of interesting things together, and uh, I would not be in a position to fi to uh, support these uh, race uh, race teams, these NASCAR race teams without Ford's involvement over the years, and of course, more particularly, the uh, solution to the uh, engineering uh, challenges we had in 2011 with our, I'm sorry, 2010 with our, uh, with our simulations, Ford stepped up and helped us uh, find a third party vendor to, uh, to correct that, those problems, and uh, without Ford's support, we couldn't have had the, the year that we've had and run as well as we have. 
All right, Jack, thanks a lot. Congratulations on a great year. Appreciate it. And get them next year. Take care.